up, Dibs Ahoy, about another video. So, uh, what happens when two schmucks from Gregory go retro game hunting 15 years ago? Well, luckily, we had a camera on hand that day to uh, find out. So, let's fire up our flux capacitors and go retro game hunting at Boot Fed 15 years ago. Okay, here we go. We're glad it's beginning to split. It's taking its toll from the huge amounts of games that we've bought. <laughs> we have spent excessive amounts of money on video games because we are addicts. Looking so cool with those golf clubs in the car. I didn't find a belt. <laughs> here we go, here we go, we've got a bag of crap now. Okay, what have we got today? From the Antiques Video Game Roadshow. <laughs> We have a Master Gear Converter. We'll see. Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the SNES. UN Squadron on the SNES. Dr. Robotnik's Beat Beam Machine. Toe Jam and L2, Panic on Fox and Rod. Sonic on the Mars System. Double Dragon 3 on the hey. uh, Striker. I didn't know you got that. Yeah, it was too good. Virtual Racing, quality. A Sega Saturn. Yeah, where are you going, baby? A SNES cable, <laughs> whatever it does. Saturn pad, crappy one. Saturn pad, crappy one. Saturn power. And a SCART cable. Is that it? Where's yeah. the Game Gear games? Game Gear games in the pit. Oh, yeah, Game Gear games in the back. Where are they? Right here? No. Yeah. Oh, I've There we go, Sonic 2 and Castle of no Land of Illusion. There we go. Out. Better if I can focus on it. There they are. This is it. Two golf clubs, a pound each, <laughs> the cart that's fallen off, <laughs> and all this quality crap. This one day's adventure, the Mammoth Boot Fair, baby. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you can see why I wear hats a lot. Believe me, things are worse now. Picture, if you will, the harrowing and disturbing scene from Robocop where he takes his helmet off, and you'll be close to imagining what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, hey, yeah, you do. <laughs> Hi, Dave. So, there you go, that was some retro game shopping from a boot fair from 15 years ago, and me and my friend Lartons did. Um, yeah, I know we didn't pick up like the best stuff from that, I mean, it was some, it was some pretty good stuff, but. You know, it was cool just seeing what it was like uh, back in those days, you know, just remembering a time before it was wall to wall PS2 stuff like these days and that, you know, because I mean at that time, you know, 2000 whatever, it was like retro games, like Mega Drive and SNES, SNES era, uh, people didn't really want that stuff. Um, and so like all that stuff you picked up for like a few quid, so I could get all, all the stuff that I kind of missed out on as a kid because like the games were 40, 50 quid, whatever, and uh, just filling those uh, holes in my uh, collection, I suppose, and uh, just get hold of some good stuff. I wish I kind of exploited it more in retrospect, but yeah, that was just a little brief look at the uh, the old days of uh, retro game shopping at boot fairs. So yeah, thanks for watching anyway. I uh, hope it was interesting, you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you next time I guess. Same good time, same good channel. Goodbye.